Bismillah, Hope and Love Over Fear and Hate, Part 5 of 5. Are all lives equal? Why does it seem like the average American does not care about non-American lives? Is there a double standard? Are we as Americans hypocrites? There have been 3,380 American deaths as a result of terrorism from 2001 to 2013. As a result, we as Americans have been responsible for roughly 26,000 Afghan civilian deaths during the war in Afghanistan 2001 until present. 29,900 civilians have also been wounded. Other numbers reflect that over 91,000 Afghans, including civilians, soldiers, and militants, are recorded to have been killed in the conflict, and those who have died through indirect causes related to the war may include an additional 360,000 people. There have been 3,380 American deaths as a result of terrorism from 2001 to 2013. As a result, we as Americans have been responsible for 151,000 to over 1 million Iraqi deaths during the first four years of the Iraq War. Yes, 1 million. A study published in 2011 estimated that approximately 500,000 Iraqis had died as a result of the conflict since the invasion. Do we not care about these lives? Why? Is it because they are not white, not Christian perhaps? Why the double standards? For Muslims, every soul counts. Allah the Glorified says, If anyone killed a person not in retaliation of murder or to spread mischief in the land, it would be as if they killed all mankind. And if anyone saved a life, it would be as if they saved the life of all mankind. All of these deaths are a direct result of our invasion based on a false claim. Yet, that does not seem to penetrate our hearts. Why is that? Is it because the fear-mongering has infected our hearts with this disease of hate? John Tierman, executive director and principal research scientist at the MIT Center for International Studies wrote an article entitled, Why do we ignore the civilians killed in American wars? In this article, he states that we, as Americans, consider ourselves a generous and compassionate nation, and often we are, from the Asian tsunami in 2004 to Hurricane Katrina in 2005 and the Haiti earthquake in 2010. Americans have been quick to open their pocketbooks and their hearts. However, we belittle non-American deaths. Why? Did these civilians deserve to die? What about the lives lost in November 2015? 120 people's lives were lost in Paris on a Friday night. Of course, we all know that because it has been headline news for a month and will continue to be. But what about the 18 lives lost and 41 wounded in Baghdad that same Friday morning? Are they not as equally important? Are they not worthy of continuous headline news? Why do we not care about them? Could it be because the media is not receiving $119 million to cover the story? Is it harder to spread the heart disease of hate when the victims do not look or act like us? But what about the 43 lives lost and 250 wounded in Beirut the Thursday night before? Are they not as equally important? Are they not worthy of continuous headline news? Why do we not care about them? Could it be because the media is not receiving $119 million to cover this story? Is it harder to spread the heart disease of hate when the victims do not look or act like us? As Americans, or even Westerners, could our arrogant attitude towards the loss of these people's lives, who were virtually all Muslims, be a reason for extremism? If so, then the best way to battle extremism is for us to treat all lives or loss of equally, regardless of race or creed. Be just, even if it is against ourselves. Allah the Glorified says, O you who believe, stand out firmly for Allah and be just witnesses, and let not the enmity and hatred of others make you avoid justice. Be just that is nearer to piety, and fear Allah. Verily, 
Allah is well acquainted with what you do. This is the advice Allah gives Muslims and we extend it to our non-Muslim brothers and sisters so that we can have a solution for humanity. If you have any questions, then please ask a Muslim. Oh